Bella, as most of you know, and I think this is Willie's first time being on my YouTube channel, so this is my dog Willie. And I actually want to show y'all my tattoos that I've gotten so far and explain the meanings behind them, because a lot of people ask me what my meanings behind my tattoos are, and I have to explain it 800 times so far, and I'm just going to explain it on my YouTube channel, but, and I'll, everybody, every time someone asks me, I'm going to give them my YouTube name and be like, go watch my video. Okay. So, to begin with, I'll begin with my first tattoo I ever got, and it's on my wrist. There we go. And it says, let it be, and it has three birds. Everybody always, when they say it, they're like, oh, that's so cute. It's from the Beatles song, right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I didn't even know the Beatles had a song called Let It Be. Until, you know, I got this tattoo and people started asking me about it. I didn't know. Hell, what the fuck? Do, do I look like a Beatles fan? Sorry, but no. I mean, their music, I'm not trying to bash them. Anyway, that ain't the point of the video. Um, actually... I had this, and I had My Chemical Romance lyrics. Um, I had this, and then I had the lyrics that say, uh, from Famous Last Words, that say, I'm not afraid to walk this world alone. And I just got out of a really bad breakup with the one person that I thought I was going to be with for the rest of my life. So I was like, I went in originally going to get that. And then, uh, I, I saved this picture of this one on my phone, and I was like, you know what, I think I like that one better because it has the birds with it. So... I, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. It was my 18th birthday. I was anxious to get some eat. Uh, I'd been wanting a tattoo since I was 12. My mom, uh, my grandma and my aunt gave me some birthday money. So I was like, called up the tattoo artist here in Savannah. And I was like, are you busy? I want a tattoo. And he's like, how big? And, you know, I told him. He's like, no, I can do that in 10 minutes. Come on down. So I went down there, walked in, showed him what I wanted. He drew it up. And it was on my skin before I knew it. Before I could even have the chance to make the decision on whether or not I actually wanted it. It was on my body. So it was one of those things I kind of just had to live with. And I don't regret it. Don't get me wrong. I do not regret my tattoo at all. But, you know, it was kind of stupid for me to be like, Oh, I'm 18. Let's go get a tattoo, you know, without thinking about it. But, so, but the meaning behind it. Before the breakup with the guy that I, w I was with this guy for over a year, or about a year, um, I would always, ch I tried to change him so much, like, but I tried to change him for the better, he was, he's, without talking down about him, he was really messed up, and it kind of just represents my ability now to just let things be like they are, because... I really, I've got to where I don't try to change anything anymore because there's no sense in it, especially not people. So I just let things be like it are, like it is. God. <laughs> be th let things be like they are because I have faith in the universe that everything's going to work out like it's supposed to. Um, I got that, my birthday is June 24th, so I got that on June 24th. It was about 3 o'clock. I even remember the time. <laughs> it was a very special moment to me because I'd been eating for so long. But And uh, my second tattoo I got two months later. I got it in August. And it's actually right there. It's the browning symbol. Um, and I got it done by the same tattoo artist I got the one on my wrist on. He's very original plus and he's really good. Um, he owns Tattoo Addiction in Savannah, Tennessee. His name's Anthony Franks. Really good tattoo artist. Really freaking reasonable price. But anyway, um, that one just represents my heritage. Not really my heritage, but the Browning symbol is a gun company for people who don't know. Um, it, uh, I guess it represents a country lifestyle. That's what I, I, I grew up in the country. i I'm from a really country area, so it represents a part of me. Um, oh, the pain level on this, it didn't really hurt. And the pain level on this, it took him less than two minutes to do that, so it didn't bother me at all. But, and then, okay, my third tattoo is probably my favorite and my most special. It, uh, 
I lost my sister, my younger sister, when I was 10, and she was actually a, a Kermit fan. She was buried with uh, multiple Kermit dolls, the stuffed dolls, you know, so I have to move Willie out of my lap, but <laughs> well, I got this as a memorial piece for her because she loved Kermit so much, and it's a Kermit the Frog laying down, and in love and memory and I actually wanted her name and stuff on it but with the size of the tattoo that it was it wouldn't have looked completely right so um she was just she was an amazing child and she was born handicapped and I don't really want to talk about it but that tattoo was very special to me um that was the only tattoo that I originally planned on getting, and then I didn't have the money to get it for my 18th birthday, so I had to wait, and it is faded out. If you could, if you didn't see how faded it was, it's supposed to be bright green and pop, and, but it's not. It's faded out, and Anthony did not do this one. I got my original, my normal tattoo artist did not do the one on Megan's tattoo. He, I got it done spur of the moment in Huntsville. Me and my ex-boyfriend went up there to visit my sister. <sighs> Paid $125 for him to sit there and needle on my leg for two hours using the wrong shade of green so my leg wouldn't take it. And he had to go over it like four or five times in the lime green. <coughs> and it faded out not even a week later. Like, I'm serious. And when it scabbed up, the scab just peeled off, like, in one big thing. And all the fucking ink come out. And I'm so pissed off about it. I'm gonna get Anthony to fix it eventually. That's gonna be my next thing. But, <clears throat> I definitely should have waited and let Anthony do it. Because, he probably wouldn't have charged me that much. It would have been perfect. And, <laughs> I would have loved it. But, the outline and stuff's really good on it. It's just the fucking color faded so bad. And then my last, my latest tattoo I got last weekend, so it's been a week and two days. I got it on my ankle, or in the top of my foot. It's got a, a pistol, a princess crown, and a brass knuckles. And yes, it goes all the way around my ankle. And that motherfucker hurt. Um, hurt so bad. Anthony did it. Um, not really much symbolism behind it, actually. The princess crown has some symbolism, because my daddy has always called me his little princess. So, that was something that means something to me, the princess crown. And the brass knuckles and the pistol just represents, like, don't fuck with me, because I don't put up with bullshit. That goes for people trying to fight, relationships, friendships, fuck you, don't fuck with me. <laughs> and that's what that means. Because I don't care, I'll fight you, I don't care. I'm not afraid of jail. Or you. I don't like fighting, but if I have to. And the pistol, I don't, the pistol kind of goes along with that, like you can't fuck with me, but. And then it kind of matches this too, but I don't think Brownie makes this, so I don't fucking know, but <clears throat> it's going, so. But I just thought it was cute, and I found the tattoo on Pinterest, and I was like, it originally had a heart, a cross, and a anchor, and I was like, Shh, that shit's too girly for me, so I changed the charms up. And it fucking hurt, I about passed out, um, <laughs> it was awful, but that's only the second thing that I've ever had about making me pass out. But, so those are my tattoos, and I would recommend Anthony in Savannah, Tennessee to Tattoo Addiction among any other tattoo artist that I've seen because he's cheap and he's really good. But, so those are my tattoos, and I'm actually going to do a piercing video next, so keep a lookout for that. I'm Ayla, and... This is Willie, and he's mad at me because I just woke him up. It's it's nap time. It's wake time. Mm -hmm. He's my baby.
You want a tattoo? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm out. Bye.